Hey, hey, welcome everyone to this week's episode of the Amazon Files brought to you by Mommy Income. I am your host, Kristen Ostrander, and we are going to talk about the elephant in the room today. We are going to talk about bundles and what is and what isn't a bundle because I've been spending some time in some Facebook groups and I've been seeing some things that are absolutely insane what people are teaching that bundles are. So please, 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 if you're considering selling bundles on Amazon, or if you want to sell bundles on Amazon, or you have some bundles that you're selling on Amazon and they're not right, or you're running into errors, please listen to this episode. And if you're listening on the podcast, I really suggest that you log into YouTube and you watch the YouTube video that goes along with it. So if you're already on YouTube and you're watching the video, great. I'm going to show you some over the shoulder examples of bundles. What is a bundle? What isn't a bundle according to Amazon and how you can stop getting a bunch of errors and breaking all the rules. I, I, I'm just going to shoot you straight here. There's even people in my own fold, in my own group who are doing bundling wrong. They're not watching the training. They're not seeing what the rules are and what the policies are and what Amazon allows and doesn't allow. So we're, I'm going to go over a little bit more of the rules. This is part of the module one of my teaching. I teach you all the rules of bundling, what Amazon says is a bundle versus not a bundle, what we call bundles and what are actually multi-packs versus private label brand new ASINs that aren't bundles at all. So I'm not going to reteach my entire training. You can get that at mommyincome.com forward slash subscribe. You can get our free training or you can get our actual training, mommyincome.com forward slash system. Because I'm not going to reteach things that I've taught over and over again. I'm going to give you the cliff note basics so that you don't get in trouble. Is your Amazon account worth getting suspended over just breaking some rules? So I know I'm a little bit heated and I'm frustrated with other people and what they're teaching about bundles that is absolutely against Amazon's terms of service. And some people are, are just doing things the way they think that they're supposed to be doing them and getting into trouble and then coming to us going, hey, how come this isn't working? Well, because you're not following the rules. And I'm going to tell you to be a rule follower. If you want to sell on Amazon, you have to follow Amazon's rules or they will get rid of you. I don't care if you make $10 million a month. If you're not going to follow their rules, they will get rid of you. <clears throat> Excuse me. They will suspend your account. They will suspend your ASINs. They will remove you for IP claims. They will remove you from using other people's trademarks and other people's brands and all kinds of things. So if you want to bundle on Amazon, which is still highly successful, highly successful for me or my clients and people that are making bundles properly, it's a very competition-free way to sell on Amazon. So first of all, let me tell you what a bundle is not. Okay, we're just gonna start right there with that. A bundle is not taking two name brand items and putting them together and putting a pack of your sticky notes together or some sort of quote unquote extra and calling it a bundle. Now, is that allowed by Amazon? Not actually really. But can you get away with it? And do some people get away with it? Yes, they do. You're going to see this on Amazon. As a matter of fact, right after I talk to you about all of these definitions, we're going to actually look at bundles, good bundles, bad bundles, bundles that are still listed on Amazon yet against terms of service and what we should and shouldn't be doing when it comes to bundles. Make no mistake, by the end of this episode, you should be very clear about what a bundle is and what a bundle isn't according to the way Mommy Income and Kristen Ostrander teaches it. And that's all compliant to Amazon's policy. I don't want anyone to get suspended from Amazon. I don't want you to get kicked off of Amazon. I don't want you to have your listings or your account or anything go down. I don't want you to have any errors. I'm a teacher and I want to teach you how to do things the right way so you can prosper the right way. Because there's lots of different ways to make money, but not, not all of them are legal or moral or ethical. That doesn't mean people don't get away with them. I mean, hello, drug dealers. You can make money dealing drugs, but it comes with risk and consequence. Is that what you want for your business? Yeah, I didn't think so. I mean, money's easily to be made if you do things the right way. And when I say easily, that's, that's kind of a joke, right? We all know it's not very easy, but it's worth it. And you will make profit if you do it correctly. So if you guys are, if you're interested in just kind of black, black hat, getting away from the rules, just trying to kick some random hijackers off of your really good Hershey's listing, 
making a bundle and adding a sticky note or adding some sort of random thing in it so that other people can't sell it is not how to do that. It's not a bundle. A bundle is not putting some things together or using a, a brand name that's going to um, differentiate your listing. What's differentiating your listing? What is the reason or the purpose or the niche or the need that it's meeting or problem is it solving? Because if it's only, I just want to get hijackers off my really good selling listing and I don't want to have to share the buy box, that is not a bundle. Bundling is not a way to just get around Amazon policies so you can make a few more sales before they catch you. Should I say that again for the people in the back? If you're here for that, you're in the wrong place. I'm going to teach you how to, is it going to be easy? No. Is it going to be stress-free? No. But it's worth the work if you do it correctly. Not black hat, not a skirting around rules and trying to get this or that or using really bad UPC codes that you purchased and that because it got through to Amazon, you think you're in the clear. Be sure they will find you out. Maybe not now, maybe not next year, but eventually they come in and they swoop all these listings away that are not compliant. So let me ask you, do you know for certainty that your Amazon bundles are compliant with all of their rules? And if so, how do you sleep at night? How do you know they're not gonna fail swoop tomorrow and press the delete button and remove all your listings because you didn't obey a policy? Know the rules and follow them. There's plenty of money to be made in all kinds of different ways on Amazon following the rules. Now, if y'all listen to me for longer than five minutes, if not, you're gonna hear it again. But if you've, you've heard this before and I'll say it again, it's not easy necessarily to work with Amazon. Their policies are sometimes very vague and we don't really know exactly what they're saying, but those policies are also to our advantage. If they try to get you on something that you're following the rules about, you can quote their policy to them. You can grab it from their own terms of service and their own policy. You can screenshot it and send it back to Amazon Seller Central and tell them, hi, I'm complying with this policy in these ways. If your nose is clean, you don't have to worry. Now, that doesn't mean you're not going to have problems. It just means it's easier to prove that you're complying with the rules. Am I right? You guys, the people that are breaking the rules, when they finally get in trouble with Amazon, they really lose everything because they don't have invoices. They don't have trademarks. They don't have proof that they're allowed to sell this item in a bundle with the brand's permission. Do you? Because we teach that to be above board. The wholesale bundle system will teach you how to be compliant with the rules, how to list bundles properly, how to build your brand properly, even if you're a, just a bundle brand. So what is a bundle? A bundle is highly complementary products that go together in a way that meet a need or solve a problem for the customer. A wholesale bundle, you buy those items from wholesale sources, legitimate wholesale sources that gives you invoices for these products invoices that you will need when Amazon eventually loses your stuff and you're going to have to prove that you bought it from a legitimate source. Cash register receipts are not legitimate proof anymore. Will they accept them on certain occasions? Yes, if and only if they meet certain criteria. But if you're shopping at a place like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or any place that uses their own UPCs, even Trader Joe's or Costco or um, Hobby Lobby, any of these places, the UPC codes will not match and they will not accept them. If your product is, is, is brand registered and branded and then you use a UPC code to prove that your item's legitimate, they're going to laugh at you. They're going to say this UPC doesn't go with this ASIN that you say is this brand. Do you know how to comply with Amazon's rules? If not, you don't have the proper training. I've been selling on Amazon for 20 years, 20, almost 20 years, e-commerce for 20 years. On Amazon since 2008, so I'm five years shy on Amazon platform. I've been selling bundles since 2014. I have been through nearly anything that can happen to a bundler. But if you have the right documents and if you're doing things correctly and you have your proof, they 99% of the time will side with you. 
but I see people being suspended left and right and their ASINs are removed and their inventory is sat there and Amazon keeps their money for 90 days and they're going, I don't know what I did wrong. Yes, you do. You used somebody else's brand and you tried to get away from the regular competition by creating some willy-nilly bundle listing so that you didn't have to share the buy box. And now that they caught you and removed your listing, you're whining about it. Sorry, y'all. This is a soapbox day where I'm just trying to help you get right. Getting, Trying to be black hat and trying to get around the rules is not a way to make money. Do it legitimately. It takes a little bit more work up front. Yep. But what do you hear about people that are successful? Not just in business, but in sports and in anything. They do more. Their success is so important to them that you hear people like, like sporting stars, that the first one in, then their last one to leave. They do 10 times more reps than everyone else. But then their success shows their result. If you want more success, you might actually have to do a little bit more work than the next guy who's just kind of feeding the bottom of the barrel and trying to keep his head above water by doing black hat stuff. Get real. You get what you give. And especially when it comes to following the rules. Now, I understand we have to get creative sometimes with Amazon because they act a fool and they don't know what their, their right hand doesn't know what their left hand is doing, and that's fine. We have to use their policies to our advantage and argue with them properly and with the right documents. Because at the end of the day, if you sell on Amazon, you are at their mercy. It's their platform. They actually don't have to let you sell there. If you break their rules or their policies, they can kick you off for any reason. So why give them a reason? Just follow the rules. Now, what is a bundle and what isn't? I'm going to show you some many listings of several listings here in the next 10 to 15 minutes and talk through each one of them and why it's a good bundle and why it meets Amazon's terms of service and when, why, why some of them don't and what to do and what not to do. And my very first example I'm going to show you is one with a branded product, a brand that 99% of you will absolutely recognize. You go, hmm, how do they get away with that? Get away with, exactly. They're trying to get away with something. So let me share my screen with you. And I want you to be able to see podcast listeners. If you're listening to the podcast, please go over to the YouTube channel so that you can visually see some of these bundles that I'm about to show you. Okay, so here we are here. We've got, we've got this bundle. And this bundle is obviously Reese's peanut butter cups, Santa candy cane things that we see. These are probably at the dollar store. You can probably see them at Walgreens, things like that. But what also you see here is Christmas chocolate filled candy cane bundle with one Hershey Kisses and one Reese's peanut butter cups and a Santa and stickers like mulberry snowman stickers. So this is their mulberry shop and this is their brand, which I'm not mad about. I'm glad that they have a brand. I'm glad that it's a mulberry shop. The question you have to ask yourself with the bundles, number one, is this according to policy? And no, according to Amazon's terms of service, this does not meet the Amazon policies. You are adding, you're saying that this is by the Mulberry Shop when actually this is um, just stickers by the Mulberry Shop and you're supposed to list your bundle according to the highest priced item in your bundle first. So that would be one of these candy canes. So this brand should not be the Mulberry Shop. It actually should be Reese's or Hershey's. But we know the truth. The truth is they can't list it under the Hershey brand. Otherwise, it will be blocked. So instead, they use the Mulberry Shop, their own personal brand here, which is fine. I'm all about your own having your own brand. You should. And we teach that in the wholesale bundle system. But here, they use their own brand to just put some stickers. Now, tell me in the policy, how does this enhance the customer expectations and the customer's user experience? So according to Amazon's policy, you're supposed to, as a bundler, enhance the user's experience. In other words, the customer it needs to enhance their experience. How does the stickers complement these candy canes? It's not really a stocking stuffer. It's supposed to be a stocking stuffer. But what the, the intention of this bundle is so that when these people sell these candy canes that they don't have any competition because no one can sell <clears throat> the Mulberry Shop brand except them. 
So they got some of these things right in the fact that they do have a brand registered brand and a logo. That's great. We teach that in the system as well. But then they don't have, you're not meeting a need or solving a problem with this bundle. All you're doing is trying to get away from competition and that will bite you in the end. Getting Just trying to get away from another listing clogs up the catalog. It makes your keywords harder to find. That's what people don't understand about making bundles like this. Bundles like this make it harder to find what people are actually looking for. It clouds up the, the catalog and it just makes it really hard for anyone who's actually looking for Reese's and Hershey's and Christmas candy canes to actually find what they're looking for because this one is taking away from the main prize pool of the keywords. So is this a bad bundle? Yes and no. It's not a bad bundle to put it two candy canes together and, and Christmas, you know, if you name it something else. But also, this doesn't really have an avatar. Who's buying this? Who's going to buy these two versus just ones without stickers? Do you really want the, the three cent pack of stickers it comes with? Does your customer want that? Do they need that? Does this enhance their experience? You see where I'm going here? Bundles are supposed to help the customer expand their experience to to have bring value to your customer how does this sticker pack bring value to the customer when you know as the bundler they don't want these stickers you're only doing this to get away from competition therefore this is a bad bundle and it's against Amazon's terms of service. How it got through, not exactly sure because they have brand registry. They use some of these brand names here. They didn't get in trouble. Maybe not yet. But it's still there and it still has the potential to be shut down because it's using other brand names. That doesn't mean you can't, <clears throat> excuse me. This doesn't mean you can't use other brand names. It simply means that the way you use them is very important. So again, not, not the greatest bundle here. Here's another one. Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's. Everybody loves Trader Joe's. Everybody's heard of Trader Joe's and their stuff sells really well on Amazon as well. Why? Because not everybody has Trader Joe's in their backyard and so they want to buy their favorites on Amazon or the website. Great. No problem. This bundle has so many problems. Number one, we are to use a pure white background image and that is not what this is. So you have some pumpkin, pecan, stuff something i don't really know exactly what this pecan pumpkin instant oatmeal and um tea okay so i get the idea that this is the theme but number one the pictures are not compliant uh number two um the how is this throwing a bag in there uh, with these other two items how is that helpful to the customer but yeah i guess if they shop at trader joe's they would need this bag if they don't and they're buying their stuff on amazon how does this make sense i always tell people you need to meet a need or solve a problem with your bundle so what need does this meet and problem does it solve and how is it compliant to amazon's rules number one it's breaking all kinds of rules um you're not allowed to um, put in your listing. So here's an example. This Trader Joe's says a bonus free TJ Ma or TJ's reusable Southern California grocery tote. Okay, so you cannot promise in a listing that you have a bonus or a free item. You're not even supposed to use the word free unless you're talking about it's gluten free or fat free. You know, you, you're not supposed to use free as in you get a free item with this. Amazon does not allow that and you're not supposed to do that. How this got this got through because it's in the grocery department and in the grocery department, you can actually say free in the word free because it's like BPA free or gluten free or fat free or free of certain ingredients. So it is a category that has an exception for using the word free. So they can't just delete your listing because it says free um, because they the way that they use it but you're not allowed to do that number two the pictures are not compliant number three tell me what problem this solves or need does it meet who is going to be sitting behind their computer looking and wanting to buy this item now i'm not saying it doesn't sell good things that that are not amazon compliant still sell good sometimes this one doesn't look so good um maybe it sold good for a time but it's just kind of been sitting there and you know doesn't sell well but that's the whole point the whole point is this bundle is out there someone made this and they used all they, they broke all the rules they probably tried to create this so that other people would if they're just selling the pumpkin pecan instant oatmeal someone probably already has a listing there's probably 10 other sellers on it and we don't create bundles just to get rid of competition because you know what, it can actually backfire. 
So here's this, and all these pictures are not compliant. Again, a bad bundle. Kind of a good sort of idea, putting pumpkin spice kind of themed things together. But this is where it goes very, very wrong, is that they're adding a bag. Plus, take the tags off. Like, if you're going to actually take pictures of something in your own house, use the remove the background free on your phone or on Canva or something. And for the love of all things, take the tag off of anything that you see. Do you ever see retail or catalog pictures of things in the tag on it? Come on. Okay. We also have a module in Wholesale Bundle System that teaches you how to make beautiful pictures and images using Canva and using lifestyle shots and things like that to where you can either hire that out or you can actually DIY with Canva. We show you exactly how to do it in the system. So just consider that. This, there's no excuse for this in 2023. I mean, this listing was created, I think, a long time ago, but still, it still lives on Amazon. It's not been deleted. It's not been flagged. So that's just my point. Okay, here's the next one. Now, this is a little bit different because this is a variety pack, and this is borderline. This is one of those borderline, like, I, I accept this as a bundle. It's following most of the rules. But I think how they got away with it was that their Smiling Sweets is their brand name. They did not use Hershey's as their brand name or Reese's, which I don't believe Hershey's or Reese's is really that big of a police on their brand. But they use the brand name Smiling Sweets, which I'm assuming is their, their trademarked brand, their brand registered brand. So they have that going for them. They use all of the pictures in, with white backgrounds here and show the variety multi-pack. I love this multi-pack. I think this is on the right track for bringing variety. So who is your avatar here? They've got that right zero sugar chocolate variety pack. I like this bundle. Um, the, the difference with this bundle is I'm not sure how it's packaged. And so other people could absolutely jump on this unless you have a restricted brand, which um, this doesn't show that I can see anything that it comes with. So any of you guys can jump on this right now. I know that it says Smiling Sweets is the brand name, but there is no other differentiation here. So they don't have their own custom packaging. They don't offer anything in addition to making this bundle, which they shouldn't. That's the whole point, is that this is not their brand. This is actually Hershey's, Reese's, York, you know, different brand names here. And their attribute, how, what is what need does this meet or problem does it solve? This pro solves the problem of sugar-free chocolate, aspartame-free, sugar-free chocolate which you know diabetics or people with sugar issues or people that just love chocolate but you know can't have a lot of sugar or don't want to cut down on their sugar um, this absolutely meets a need and solves a problem there's a variety there are names that you could recognize or brands that you would trust and it doesn't appear to be violating any rules except for the brand name listed is smiling sweets that means that Although they have a brand and they were able to list it under this brand, any one of you can jump on this bundle because it's not protected via um, brand name. So if you see the brand name here, it says Smiling Sweets, put this together. So although I like the listing, the concept, the idea, it has an avatar, it has a good variety, it, the customers would want this. There's no extra gibberish. You're not, telling, you're not selling me zero sugar um, chocolates plus something silly like sticky notes that I don't want or need or someone tries to add like the last one a, a packet of stickers that would just get on my nerves because first of all I don't love to throw things away I don't want your Christmas stickers with my chocolate I just want my chocolate so this is a good bundle and I believe that um it's also but it's also unprotected so anyone can jump on this bundle and sell it if they can access these items and get them at a good price um, because although it might be branded with smiling sweets there doesn't seem to be anything that differentiates this from any other listing so therefore it's not protected and it's a free-for-all anyone can jump on this if they try to get rid of you you will win because they don't have custom packaging they don't have anything that that um, protects their listing and their brand um, it's just that, that they were able to list their item because they have a brand um, and that's part of some people's problems is it, as, as soon as they get their own brand registered brand, they start listing a bunch of things like this. Now, this is truly a variety pack. 
um, of, of items. So this listing will pass my test, but it will also be a free for all for any hijackers or anyone who wants to jump on your listing. There's no protection, um, but you're going to get the lion's share of the buy box until someone finds out about this listing and then it kind of copies you or jumps on it. Here, my friends, is a good and right and compliant bundle on Amazon. This is the definition of a wholesale bundle right here. Number one, it has branding. Grenbo, Grenbo, whatever that is, Grenbo store is their bundle. This is a gardening tool set, it, get gardening gifts for women. It comes with all of these different things. You can clearly see in the image that the images are well-made. They're professional. They have professional, um, images here. These are things that we can teach and, and, and help you uh, do. They even have a video that kind of show all these different things. They're getting a 10 in the Helium 10 health score. This is a fantastic bundle and a fantastic listing. Why? Because it's their own brand. They're using as, um, attributes instead of uh, brand names to sell their item. Look, there's no brand name here except their own. And does, has anybody heard of Grendabo? Like, is that your brand name? No, you don't go to the store and try to look for that brand. Instead, who is finding this bundle? It meets a need and solves a problem for gardeners. It's all of their tools and a bag to carry them in and they're all well organized and it's a good price. And this meets a need and solves a problem for gardeners. That's why this sells. That's why this does well. They also have two different colors. They have black and green. So they have a variety pack of this. They did really well to put their listing together and show the, the customer what they're buying. This meets a, need, meets a need and solves a problem. It doesn't have any brand names in it at all. And yet it has 4.7 stars. This bundle sells really well, very low rank and sells really well for a long period of time. So if you want an example of a good bundle, here it is. Here it is. This is a good bundle. It doesn't, it doesn't step on anyone else's brand names. It doesn't need, it doesn't need a brand name in order to sell it. That's what most bundlers think that it's going to happen. Oh, well, if it doesn't have a name brand, how are you going to get it to sell? It sells because people are looking at gardening gifts for women and it doesn't just sell now. It sells all this time from January, 2023 to now, this is the keeper chart that you see. It sells consistently. They mess with their price. Sometimes it's 27, sometimes it's 37. The ranking has gone everywhere from 3000 right here in May. I bet that's around um, April, May right there, as low as 19,000 in rank. All the way to their highest rank was in October, um, 13, 14, 15,000. So don't tell me that you need brand names to sell bundles. You don't. You need a good bundle that meets a need or solves a problem, and you need the proper keywords. The proper keyword that sells this, I bet, is gardening gifts for women and gardening tools. Those are the two keyword phrases that make this bundle sell well. And we teach you how to find those keywords and how to find niches that, that work for bundles like this. This is a good bundle. So don't tell me you haven't seen one. Okay, let's move on. There's some more good bundles. Again, here's another really good bundle. This is a sunflower themed gift set. So if you look at that, number one, it meets a need or solves a problem. What need or meet, <laughs> need or meet? <laughs> what need does it meet? It meets the sunflower gifts for women. There's a lot of people out there that are looking for sunflower gifts and gifts for women and all these different things. The rest of the stuff is visual. People say, they type in sunflower gifts for women and this comes up and you see it and you're like, oh, that's awesome awesome $39.99 sold you're just looking for your, your avatar your customer is just looking for a gift for someone it could be retirement it could be a birthday it could be a co-worker it could be a get well soon it could be something like that but they're looking for oh um Janie loves sunflowers so let me look for a sunflower themed gift or a gift with sunflowers and you see this beautiful gift here and you send it to Amazon. It's got all the right things. There's no brand name you're worried about. There's nothing else. This is all wholesale products and they have their brand. Their brand is, I don't even know, Bing Bro Fam. Okay, great. That's their brand. Who cares? That's not what people, that's not how people find this listing. And guess what? People do find this listing. They do. 
here it is. It sells really good. So even for the past year, they got a little rough start at the beginning and then bam, started to sell really good. Up, down, up, down, and still consistent. So this again is another $40 bundle buy from wholesale stores and because they have their own brand because they have their trademark because they can do that they can list all kinds of different bundles with their brand they have their lifestyle pictures they have all the different things that they need to create this again stuff we teach they have a nice beautiful package so no one even if you were to go buy all of these things from the wholesale sources you don't have the bing bro fam brand name you don't have their branded box you don't have their brand. So you could not copy this listing. This is well done. This is according to all of Amazon's rules, compliant to Amazon's rules, and it's a dang good listing. 9.2 on Helium 10's listing health score. So this is an example of a really good bundle as well. Here's one that is interesting. Um, I say interesting because there's all these different varieties. Obviously, you can see all the different varieties that they have here. So I like the variety listing. Um, the image is very clear. It's it's all that. But you guys know this is the dollar store bundle, which is I have no problem with the dollar store bundle. This is a, the, obviously what they're calling a value pack. And the bright sunflower five-piece kitchen set, someone who's searching for sunflower kitchen themed items is going to find this. But then they're also going to be able to find all the different varieties that are available on this listing. All they did was copy paste and get this done. But they have their own brand. Value pack. So what sells these bundles? The fact that people, the kitchen, kitchen set, sunflowers kitchen set. Or if this one, it would be... I don't know what this theme is. Roosters. Yeah, rooster. Rooster, decorative and functional rooster kitchen set. Farmhouse decor, whatever this is. So the bundle looks good in the sense that we're meeting a need or solving a problem with a theme. The theme is all kinds of different varieties of theme with the same exact item. A couple of pot holders, a couple of kitchen towels. Um, this use is for so many different things. And obviously, people are happy with the price point and happy with the product. 4.6 stars out of all these products. It might be basic and it might be very inexpensive, but it sells and it's compliant to every Amazon rule. Y'all, we don't have to sell expensive bundles to make money. You just have to do it correctly. And guess what? Zero brand name. Are y'all looking for lob and value packs? No, you're not. You're looking for rustic rooster kitchen set. And this is what comes up or the sunflowers or the chef or the apples. People are crazy about their themes. So please just pay attention to these types. If the bundle doesn't have to be expensive or fancy or, ex or a lot of money for it to do well. I'm guessing that they probably don't have anything that's, that they have their brand on when it comes to this. If you read the description, they probably don't have, they're not paying for extra packaging or anything like that. They do have their own brand. They're doing well. Um, you can see as they, as they've been around for a while, they sell all of these pretty well. It's really low ranking, no brand, you guys, no brand. These are attributes. These are solving a problem or meeting a need. Sunflowers or lighthouse or, or new roosters, farm, flamingo, wine bottles. They're just kitchen accessories that people use every day when they wear out they throw them away and get new ones and here they are so it doesn't have to be fancy it doesn't have to be super expensive you don't have to order 10,000 of something overseas over an Alibaba or whatever to make really good bundles that are successful this is another example of I love by the way this variety pack that this person did this once and then they're like oh wow this is selling really good you think they started out with all these varieties no way they started with one or two, and then they realized they sell really well, and they make a decent profit on them, so why don't we add blue owls? Why don't we add lighthouse? Why don't we add wine bottles? And they have added to their plethora of kitchen accessories over the course of time. But they didn't have to reinvent the wheel each time. All they had to do was add a variation to what they already have going for them. Take notes, people. 
Here's another good bundle, a cake decorating kit. You can get almost all of these cake accessories and items at wholesale, unbranded, for really cheap. Check Alibaba, check DHgate, check your local um, cake shops even. There are lots of places, even stateside, you don't always have to import, so there's that, that you can create with this. So this is your the Vaster store, is obviously their brand, so they have a brand, cake decorating kit, it's a reasonable, it's usually a reasonable price. I think it's like $14.99 or something crazy like that. $7.99 at some point. And it's currently unavailable. Obviously, they're not stocking it at this time. But for all those years, it did a really, really good job. Really good job. It looks like they just stopped stocking it for some reason at the beginning of this year. But still, even on their worst day, they sold for 50,000 uh, 50, in rank. And that's, I think, in kitchen products. That's a really good rank. They have videos, they have their lifestyle photos, they have all of their brands and what, everything that it comes with. And they, this is just a really good bundle. So I just want, I wanted you guys to kind of see that. Again, no brand name, just attributes. Don't tell me this didn't sell. Sell, 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 sell all this time. They must have just stopped stocking it again. But still, this sold. This product sold without any brand, without any anything, without any um, brand name to bring it to it. It's cake decorating supplies, professional stainless steel, do-it-yourself, icing tips, reusable coupler. These are key words that the customers are looking for. That's how they come and see your item. They're not branded, not brand names. All right, let's look at this up, this one here. This is just a whole hot mess. Number one, look at their store name, Star Wars Store. Like that is a recipe for disaster. Now they try they got some things right here. They did get their own kind of custom packaging and it looks like they have a thank you card in there that's kind of their brand and they tried to sort of get away with this but these are again our dollar store items that you can buy from the dollar store and add them in here. I'm not I don't have beef with that. I'm just saying that like the word Star Wars and the Force and the all that kind of stuff you're going to end up getting in trouble using someone else's brand name. This is maybe why it's not available. I'm surprised it's not been taken down. Um, but to have your store be called the Star Wars store, like, I don't even know if that's compliant with Amazon's rules. So this is somebody just trying to sell these things in a bundle, which I like the bundle itself. I like these items together, these kind of plastic dinnerware, um, snack container kind of thing. It's a little bit more of like tr travel portable versus eat at home. But either way, I think it would be a cute, nice gift for, uh, for someone who loves some young person that loves Star Wars. Um, but when you start using brand names like Star Wars, things that are trademarked and copyrighted and heavily protected, you're going to get yourself in trouble. Today, I don't know that this listing would actually be able to be listed. This doesn't even say who, what, when, where, why, or how right now, even with Helium 10. So that doesn't surprise me. Um, but looking at something like this to where Star Wars might get some eyeballs on this. Um, but what would be the keywords? Are someone looking for Star Wars dinnerware? Are they looking for the snack container? Are they looking for the sandwich? Like who, what, when, where, why, and how? Always think about that with your bundle. It's not how can I get around the rules. It's not how can I get other people from jumping on my listing. That's important, but that's not number one. Number one is who is this bundle for? What are the keywords they're going to be looking for? And how am I going to get them to see it and buy it? How does this meet their need or solve their problem? So at the end of the day, your bundle needs to meet a need or solve a problem. You need to have a brand name for your bundles, your own unique brand name that you create. It doesn't mean it's going to be a brand that you're going to take to Target and put on Target shelves. But according to Amazon's policies, if you want to be the best protected with your listings, with your bundles, with you need a brand that registered with the USPTO. Again, all of this is taught in the wholesale bundle system. We left no stone untouched, uncovered. From If you've never even sold anything on Amazon before, if you take the wholesale bundle system, you will know how by the end. You will get your account up, it will be verified, you can start selling items, you can start selling products and get profitable. You can also start a brand, get a trademark, get custom packaging and make custom bundles. From the window to the wall, we have everything covered. Why? because of these things. Because there's a right and a wrong way to comply with the policies. There's a right and a wrong way to make bundles to make them profitable. And if you spend the time upfront to do it the right way, 
you will sleep better at night. First of all, you will not live in constant fear that Amazon's going to give you the ax for something because you did it right. And if they do give you the ax randomly, that you have all of your documentation and everything you need to prove, be like, hey, here's my bundle. Here's all of the stuff that you need. Thank you. Leave me alone. It might be a pain to have to prove yourself sometimes because they lose something, but you'll have everything that you need. Like you could totally try to figure all this stuff out on your own. A lot of you guys have, and then you make bad bundles like these. Some of you make good ones and I'm proud of you for that. It works if you work it. It works if you do it right. But if you're constantly trying to get around the rules, you will reap what you've sown. Some of people don't care about that. They'll just like, oh, I'll ride the wave until they kill me and then I'll figure out plan B. I don't like to live like that. I like to sleep well at night knowing I'm complying to the rules. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm creating bundles that are um, meeting needs for customers because you know that Amazon cares more about their customers than they do about you, right? You think you're a customer of Amazon, but as a seller, you're secondary to the actual customers that are prime members. Y'all have had returns before. They take almost everything back. But if you're selling good, solid products and you're obeying the rules, you have a lot less to worry about. And you don't have to do this all on your own. We have tons of people making bundles on a regular basis, none of which you would ever hear of their brand name. You wouldn't know their brand name, but you know that they're selling stuff because Amazon has everything. But they don't have your bundle yet. So what are you waiting for? Good, bad, bundles they're out there don't take bad advice if you have questions come and ask them we're here for you and most of the time our answer is going to be oh we totally answer that in the wholesale bundle system you guys i didn't create the system for myself i didn't i created it for you you know why because i spent the last 15 years figuring this stuff out you shouldn't have to someone already figured it out and this is also what you need to understand a business this is not a hobby and something you kind of sort of do on the side as a side hustle. It can be a side hustle, absolutely. But you still need to approach it as a business. You know why? Because Amazon does. When you sit with them and verify your account, you will get tax papers from them. You will have to claim your income from Amazon on a Schedule K-1. So as much as we want this to be a side hustle and a side business and, oh, I want to make a few hundred here and there, that's great. But you still have to run it like a legitimate business because that's what Amazon expects from you. If you don't want to really do it like that and you kind of just want to be willy-nilly, there's other platforms. You can sell like on Mercari or, or, or eBay and even still on eBay, you're going to, you know, if you sell a certain amount, you're going to have to pony up. You're going to have to take care of your, all of your stuff, your businesses, your taxes, your bookkeeping, your, your ins and outs, your cost of goods. You're going to have to keep your invoices organized. Like we teach you this stuff because this is a real legitimate business. Anyone can buy or sell stuff. We can do that on Marketplace without the you know government in our pockets. But not like this, not to 153 million Prime customers. So if you wanna play that big, you have gotta be compliant with the rules. It's that simple. I'm not saying the process is simple. I'm saying that understanding and agreeing and complying to their rules needs to be a priority because you're at their mercy. You want to play on their playground, you got to play by their rules, and their rules are annoying and complicated sometimes, but it's possible to succeed by doing things the right way. Don't settle for black hat. It will bite you. So now go and create good bundles according to policy. I know you can do it. And if you're confused or you need more training, mommyincome.com forward slash system. It's everything that you need. Everything that you need. Y'all, thank you for listening. Thank you for listening to this tough love and receiving it and knowing if you're making any of these mistakes, there's no shame. Just fix it. You now know better, so do better. You could be anywhere else listening to any other teacher or podcast or video or anything. I don't take that for granted. Thank you so much for allowing me to serve you with the right and correct information that you need. Now go and make some bundles.